So I'm Kirk. I'm Sue. And we're married and we have seven kids. How did that happen? Well, you had three, I had four. And this is our this is our second marriage. Uh, so when we got married, our combined family included seven children. They're all grown adults. They all have significant others. So we have some grandchildren. So as a group right now, we're 19. 19 of us. <laughs> we're making this video to talk about why we started a YouTube channel in our 60s, some of the benefits of having done that, and some of our regrets, uh, which we'll uh, tell you about at the end. So Sue and I, since we met seven years ago, started traveling quite a bit. We both are owners of our own businesses and kind of had the luxury to have some free time and both kind of winding down our career. So uh, we love to travel and be traveling a lot. And so Sue, explain how this YouTube channel got started. So it got started at our vacation home in Maine. We were sitting at the dining room table and I think it was our son-in-laws, I think Ray and Damien were talking about, you know, let's start a traveling YouTube channel because everyone pretty much likes to travel. So they came up with the name, Traveling Pogma, um, the logo, next thing you know, they signed us up and July 4th, 2023, we started our channel. And the main purpose of the channel was to fund our family trips uh, since 2019-20, I think it was, our first trip. We went out to California at Disney. No, I think it was 2021. Okay, 2021. December of 20. Uh, Sue and I decided that we wanted to go on at least one trip a year with our entire group. So we've done three big trips so far. One out to California and Disneyland, one to Punta Cana, and another one to Cancun most recently. And the thought of starting the YouTube channel was that if we could have all the people in our family group, or at least some of them, contribute, we might be able to eventually monetize it and use some of those funds to help supplement the cost of these family trips. So that was the concept, yes. right? And our goal was to be monetized in a year. So we had until July 4th, 2024, and we got monetized in nine months, so. Which was, was great. And we're, we're gonna do another video at some point about how we did that and what we think we did that was successful in getting us monetized pretty quickly, we thought. Um, so stay tuned for that. So one of the things that's made this easier for us and kind of supported us is that we have a lot of our family members involved. Uh, they're contributing content in some of the shorts. Uh, they're creating some of the uh, long form videos and creating those and giving us ideas and helping us with technology. So it's kind of a group effort. I think this would be a little more difficult for a, you know one person to do all alone. Yeah, and, definitely a lot easier for us. Yeah, and one of the things that makes it more enjoyable too is that both Sue and I are really into it, right? We're both, yeah. it's something we're doing together, something we're both enjoying, we're helping each other with, and I, I think it's good for us and our relationship, yeah. not that our relationship needed help, <laughs> right. but it, it's something that we can do together that's fun and enjoyable and we're seeing some benefit and reward from. So uh, doing it together is great and having some other family members contributing is certainly uh, enhancing the process significantly. Agreed. And we started out by doing a lot of shorts uh, to try and get subscribers. We're gonna talk more about that in our other video about how we got monetized. But, you know, it's pretty rough at first. Like everybody else, we're learning how to video edit and do that kind of stuff. Um, we had no video editing experience at all. Right. So. so we had to start from scratch. All we had was our cell phones. So we posted a few simple videos and started gently getting some subscribers. So some of the advantages we found of going through this process and doing YouTube videos is we're learning a lot. Sue and I are both in our mid-60s, I'm a little older than Sue, and I think as everyone knows, learning new things is good for your brain, especially as you get older. So we're learning lots of new things, right, Sue? Oh, a lot of new things. It's yeah. definitely keeping our brain moving. Yeah, we're learning video editing. We're uh, learning how to use different kinds of cameras and microphones and equipment. 
Uh, we're learning about the whole YouTube monetization process, which was pretty mysterious to us at first, but it's becoming clearer now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and learning how to analyze the uh, statistics and uh, channel statistics and analytics and things like yeah, that. That's so the fun part. It's yeah. been fun, yeah. And some of the other advantages that we found other than learning new things and keeping our brains active is that we feel like we're more engaged in our activities when we're traveling than when we weren't doing video. And, you know, some people have said, well, I don't like to take a lot of pictures on my trips because um, I like to be in the moment. I don't like to be on my phone or a camera all the time. But what we found doing this is that we're actually more engaged in the activity. We're more aware of our surroundings because we're looking at what we're going to photograph and how we're going to capture it and how we're going to document it. Analyzing things a little bit more than we would have otherwise. Yeah, planning ahead a little better for that mm -hmm. kind of thing. And so I think we're getting a lot more out of our travels uh, because yeah. of it. We're creating documentation of our trips that helps us bring those memories back. Right? So if someone says, oh, how was that safari? We can say, well, <laughs> check out the video. Yeah, and it's good for us, too, because we love going back and looking at our own videos uh, as a memory of our trips. So some of the other advantages we're finding is that it's just fun. I mean, we enjoy doing it. We enjoy creating the videos and going back and looking at all our clips and photos and trying to create you know, a good video and learning new things. And because it's a family project, um, a lot of times we're together, one of the main topics of conversation is our YouTube channel and how we're doing and what we can do better and sharing ideas and tech tips and things like that. We're just crossing some water here. Yikes. Sue's got boots on, I don't. Oh, there's one rock right over here. So one other advantage we found is that it's not necessarily that we wouldn't travel anymore. We're not creating trips, I don't think, specifically no. for YouTube content, but we are thinking more about going out and doing local events, things that we can drive to, uh, especially over the summer, that might be of interest to our subscribers and the YouTube community, community at large. So um, I think it's gonna get us out of the house more mm -hmm. so we can get some of that local content that other people might be interested in. Uh, documenting some of our cycling trips and bike trails and hikes and things like that. We're just enjoying doing it. Yeah, it's a yep. lot of fun. Yep. Another big advantage is that, you know, we take thousands of pictures on our trips and, and lots of video and we do back it up on Google Drive, but um, the nice thing about having these videos is it's a kind of more concise uh, story about our trip, right? To document our experience. And those videos are gonna live on YouTube forever. So they'll be there for us to look at later in our older age and for our family uh, to look at if they wanna go back and see family trips or what Sue and I have been up to or were up to. So it's just nice to be able to document the experiences that we're having and be able to really relive them through the YouTube videos. Yeah, even if videos don't get many views, like that's fine, you know, some of them may just be for you know, our own enjoyment. Yeah, some of them we're making because we're hoping they'll get a lot of views and, and maybe we'll make a few pennies. And some we're just doing for our own enjoyment because we want to watch them and share them with our family. So if other people enjoy them, well, that's just a bonus. Yeah. And of course, if we can make a few bucks down the road, that'd be great too. We don't have huge expectations for our channel blowing up and being really big, uh, but we wouldn't object to that. Yeah, right. <laughs> a couple dollars here and there helps right. out with our yearly trips. So. We do plan on making a video about how we got monetized mm -hmm. and share some information about how much money we'll be making the first couple of months that we're being paid. And that'll be, I think, of interest to a lot of people that are just starting out like us. And we also have some tips we've learned along the way on how to make videos more efficiently you know we're doing like what we're doing now is we're narrating as we're walking so it's i think a little bit easier you know the camera on the bike as we're cycling and talking as we're going that helps the editing time so there's little tips we've learned oh we do have a couple of regrets though about starting this youtube channel and some challenges too um 
So what, I mean, it's time consuming, right, Sue? It is a very time consuming. A lot of times, you know, you want to get a, sh a video done and then you keep going back and editing and editing and editing because you think of more things to change. So it's definitely time consuming. I do enjoy it. What are our regrets? Well, the first regret is that we didn't start this sooner. Yes. Um, you know, <laughs> in the first few years that Sue and I were together, we traveled a lot and we took tons of pictures. Um, but we, if we would have started a YouTube channel, you know, the year we met or year after we met, yeah, we'd be so much. 17, yeah, 18. We'd be so much further along now. So yeah, that's one big regret is that we didn't start doing this sooner. I'm not sure we would have had as much time, but maybe we would have been able to kind of at least start it. So that's one regret. And the other regret is that we didn't take enough video. Yeah. We have lots of photographs, but not much video of trips and we did some amazing trips right we yeah, went thailand one thailand new zealand two weeks in new zealand river cruise in europe uh lots of trips to the caribbean uh in aruba and colombia uh bogota colombia yeah and uh, we have lots of nice pictures but no video so we uh, regret that because if we had some good video, we might be able to go back and create some content from that. So, those are that's what we regret is that we just uh, have to go back to those. We should have done it sooner. So, our advice to you is if you're entering retirement, you've got a little time on your hands and you're not afraid of the technology. I think starting a YouTube channel uh, in your retirement in your 60s is a great idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. Gives you a little bit of uh, incur uh, encouragement, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, drive, you know, like it gives you reason to get up every morning and, and work on something you're passionate about. So, you know, find something you like doing, whether it's gardening or biking. There's so many yeah, Cooking, DIY, yeah. you know. Yeah, there's so much um, out there. And, you know, we learned a lot by watching YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how we yeah. learned most of what we learned uh, about technology, about YouTube, yeah. about how to create videos, uh, about how to do video editing, yeah. and all those things. Our big resource was YouTube. Yeah, well, and our kids and our in-law, uh, the son-in-laws, right. they were very, very big in right. helping us along the way. So if you got someone who's got some technology skills and can help you with some of that, it's not for everybody, but I enjoy it. Okay. So we just got monetized last month. Uh, we made a little bit of money. We'll share that with you on another video. Uh, we went through that whole monetization process and getting that all set up in Google AdSense and we'll talk more about that. And we hope to make some more videos about how we're getting more efficient with our video production uh, and our recording, especially when we're doing hotel reviews and walk arounds and things like that and uh, maybe share some of our technology tips, things that we've learned along the way, some of the cameras we're now using and some of the uh, software we're using for video editing. Yes. So we've learned a lot, certainly, and I'm sure we're gonna learn a lot more as we go forward. And uh, if you wanna see those videos and hear more about kind of our senior journey on <laughs> YouTube, uh, subscribe to our channel and you'll uh, be notified, hopefully if you click on that notification, and I'll see more of our videos.